Hey everyone, this is Tim McKean, and I just wanted to make a quick video here in Studio One to show you a couple tricks I've learned while doing punch and roll in Studio One uh, to help clean up your punch in points, even if you've kind of messed them up as you're performing. Uh, now one of the settings that's really neat in Studio One is the ability to tell it to start recording before your punch in point. Uh, so let's take a look at that setting first. In my Studio One preferences, I want to go to Advanced, and I want to go to Audio, and then this setting right down here where it says pre-record audio input and I have it set to two seconds. So what that means is uh, that when I tell it to record and I, and I hit record and the punch is rolling along, it's actually recording already before the punch in point for two seconds it's recording extra audio. Now what that means for me here is um, is that I have extra audio that I don't see right here. Uh, because one of the things that happens, at least for me sometimes, is that I anticipate the punch in, right? Uh, it, it's rolling for a couple seconds, and I'm excited to continue on with my recording, and I start narrating before it actually punched in, uh, which is what you can see happened right here. The serendipity. In this case, the so I should say in this case, but I, I started narrating, and it just says this case. Um, so one of the things I can do here is if I bring my cursor over the crossover point, so this is crossing over from one take to another take, right? Uh, I can actually drag that around because it started recording before the punch in. Then there's actually two seconds of extra audio on the front of that take. Uh, so I can grab that crossover point and just move it around until I get it where I want it. And this is great if you, you know, got a double breath or a hitch to breath or something, you can move that punch in point to erase that breath or, you know, however you want it. So you can really clean up that point. And so now that, that we can see here that it sounds better. Precursors to serendipity. In this case, the precursors for the great things. Now, sometimes that's not uh, the best choice for you. And so, uh, for example, one of the things that I always like to try to do, if there is a breath, an audible breath, um, I'll try to punch in right after the breath so that it, it flows naturally. You hear me finish my one sentence, take a breath, and then come in with the next sentence. Uh, so if I've punched in right after a breath, I can't really roll this back any because I'll be cutting off that breath. Uh, so then the other thing that I can do here is if I trim a little bit off the edge. So let me go over to this edge and trim a little bit down here. Um, and then on my keyboard, and I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to hold Command and Option. If you're on PC, hold Control and Alt. I get a new tool here that has a little arrows going in both directions. And now I can actually take the audio inside this event and move it around. So instead of moving the in and out points like I was doing before, I keep the in and out point where I wanted it because I punched in right after a breath, so I don't want to move that. And I can just move the audio inside of it. Okay, again, because I have that setting turned on where it's recording before the punch in point, and because I've trimmed a little bit off the edge there, now I've got room that I can slide around inside this event. So I can uh, just put that sentence right where I want it to start, to serendipity. In this case, the precursor is for the great things we can't plan. Okay, so there you go. A couple easy tricks uh, to help clean up your punch in points so that you have a nice smooth recording. And for me, this has saved me tons of time because now if I'm careful about where I punch in, so I'm not punching in during a breath, I'm punching in right after a breath. And then uh, if I come back, as I do a, a proofing pass, I can kind of clean up those uh, punch in points. Um, and then I'm ready to go. Uh, if I've done a good job on the performance and I've done a good job cleaning up those punch in points, I don't really have a lot of editing left. I can throw it into a, a batch processor and master it and, and be done. Uh, so hopefully that's helpful and gives you some neat ideas on how to uh, use Studio One and do your punch in a roll and to be really clean in those in those punch ins.